Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Mr. Lee's noodles. This is the Thai, Thai Chi chicken uh, rice noodle soup. It's soul warming chicken soup with rice noodles, broccoli, spinach, ginger, and orange blossom honey. Sounds pretty cool. Um, real food, uh, ready in three minutes, very mild flavor, uh, flavorful soup mix. We bought this at Whole Foods. It was $4.69, uh, 10 grams of protein, gluten free. It says it's made using the finest ingredients, authentic uh, recipes, and amazing taste. No worries, eat happy. The whole cup is 210 calories, and there's the other info if you can read it. It's kind of a blue on white. It's kind of hard to see. So pretty easy directions. Basically, you shake it, which I've already done. You fill me with boiling water. So you're gonna get your boiling water either from a stove top or a microwave, a cup of water, whatever you're gonna to do to get your water. It very specifically says, do not microwave the cup. So you wanna do your water separate and then pour it in. Um, so pour your boiling water in, stir it, and then wait for three minutes. Usually you leave the lid on about three fourths of the way or a third of the way and um, just lay it all back on top. But anyway, and then you're ready to go. So, and it says it's really is a real person. So yeah, so let's just open it up and see what it looks like. Yeah, okay. So there's the fill on. It says fill me up to here. Get my water here. I think I got enough water. Yeah, pretty sure I do. I'll tell you about, that took about a cup of water maybe actually that took probably almost a cup and a half of water i don't know quite a bit of water one way or the other so it just says stir and i i don't know that i can break those noodles up yeah they're coming apart it looks like plastic little strings of plastic in there okay and it says it's got freeze-dried vegetables and meat so uh, i think that's pretty cool so i'm going to um it doesn't say cover it but i'm going to cover it just to keep in some of that heat so i'm, gonna, I'm just going to flap that lid back over there i'm going to leave it for three minutes and i'll be back hey that was a fast three minutes just to let you know um okay so here it is oh yeah the noodles have definitely softened up some you can actually stir them now couldn't move them around much last time, but you can you can really move them around now. And they've actually it looks like they've expanded. Maybe they haven't, but they've definitely softened up. So I'm going to. It smells like a really good chicken soup. That's what it smells like. So I'm gonna get this. And you know what? I may. I'm, it, I'll pour. It. No, I thought about pouring it into a bowl so you could see it better, but I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. This is how you would normally eat it. This time I'll leave it. So I'll you take it over to the table. I gotta let it cool off for a minute, but I'm gonna take it over to the table. I'll be right back. Okay, change my mind. I am going to put in a bowl just for you all to see and just for me to do the review with. Um, just so you can see exactly what you get. I mean, it's a pretty good sized bowl of soup. You can see it's, it filled up that Fiesta bowl really good. And I haven't even got all the, the stuff out of the bottom. Um, I also see a lot of powder in the bottom. So when you're stirring this up, uh, make sure you scrape the bottom really good. Because I didn't realize all that was in the bottom. I probably wouldn't have realized it until I got to finish. And it's like... Wow, there's a lot of a lot of seasoning in the bottom. So I'll I'll scrape this out into this bowl. Make sure I um, stir in all this powder because I don't want to eat a big hunk of seasoning powder. Yeah, you get quite a bowl full. It doesn't look that big uh, in that cup, but that's a that's a heck of a bowl of soup. I'm gonna stir it up really good. Um, but yeah, that's pretty full. So I'm gonna take this over the table and I'll be back. All right. So like I said, normally you're not gonna pour it into a bowl, but um, I, I put it in a bowl because I wanted to be able to, to show you what all you get. And like I said, you get a lot. There's quite a bit of noodles there um, for you to enjoy. And it looks like it has quite a bit of uh, broccoli and things like that. The bad thing is the noodles are really, really big. Now, I wish they'd made them a little bit shorter. But um, it is what it is. Can, I, can you imagine me trying to sit here and eat this with like chopsticks or something? I'd be here for three years before I could eat it. If I'm here this long with a fork, you know how long I'd be here with, with chopsticks. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Just bite the noodles off. The easiest way to do it. I'm trying to get some of the chicken and broccoli. It's hard to kind of scoop them up with the noodles pulling off your fork like that. You see how as I pick it up, the noodles just fall off. 
So it's really hard to, to get the stuff in there. I'm sure there are people that are experts at this. I have to say, the flavors are very, very, very light. Like I'm gonna get a big hunk of like chicken and broccoli here. Try to get without noodles because the noodles just pull, literally just pull it off my fork. Yeah, here we go. That was just chicken and broccoli. And with the one noodle. And honestly, the chicken and the broccoli um, together, they, and this could be just my imagination, I don't think it is, but it has a fishy kind of flavor. Maybe they're using a fish oil or something, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's very bland. I mean, super bland. Um, hold on, I'll be right back. I went and got a spoon because I want to try the actual, uh, just the soup part. The soup part has a, a little bit more flavor, but it's a very, very bland soup. It's a very, 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 very bland uh, noodle ball. And um, I mean, I got everything out of that cup that is the seasoning for it. So I think it's good. It's not worth the money they're charging you though, because I think $5 is a little expensive for the flavor you get. I think it's good, the noodles are good. They're a little firm, but, but they're okay. Um, honestly, I like the flavors of the, sorry about that, battery died, total professional. Um, I like the ones at Walmart much, much better. Honestly, they have more flavor. Um, they, they're a lot stronger flavor. And this literally, I'm getting like this, like this fishy kind of fish oil kind of flavor. And I don't know if it uses fish oil and it's so small that I don't know that I'd be able to find it um, anytime soon. Um, yeast extract, which maybe that's giving that a little bit of a funky flavor. Um, soy, broccoli, um, spring onion, ginger, maybe it's the ginger. I don't know. Something in there has got like a little bit of a, it, it contains oil, soy, so maybe that's the, the flavor. Anyway, it's very, very plain. Um, a can of Campbell's chicken noodle soup has more flavor than this. Now it may also have more sodium in it, so just know that. You'll have to look at the labels and compare, but um, Flavor-wise, this one's pretty plain. This one, I would almost, I would really, for when you compare price to flavor, um, I'd give this one a two out of five. It's really just not worth buying because it's really just, it's so, so plain. I do think the rice noodles are a good quality. It has tons of stuff in there. It's just the flavor is just, I mean, maybe it's, maybe it's lacking the sodium so the flavor is not coming out. No, it's just, just blah. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.